Hello, beautiful. Welcome. Today, I wanted to share something that was a really powerful download from last week. I was at a leadership conference last week and I was working with eight leadership coaches, all women who wanted to 20x their life, their health, their relationships, their business, their income, their impact, and their revenue and their profits between now, October 1st, 2022, and December 31st, 2023. And we're having a conversation about my program, Supernatural, and they were asking me questions like, how do we support ourselves at that level? And what does it take to really be supernatural? And one of them just blurted out, you have to be out of your mind. You've got to be out of your mind to operate at a supernatural level because it's just not realistic or logical, which I loved because you know what I feel and how I feel about logic and reason. But if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Mimi Dabo. I'm a high ticket business coach and I support spiritual men coaches and Christian women coaches to co-create profitable and simple high ticket coaching boutiques so they can serve at a deep transformational level, co-create exponential expansion with their clients in any coaching niche and in their own businesses, simplify with one high ticket coaching offer, create millions of dollars in their business and impact millions, but most importantly, design, build, and create the life, the business, and the relationships that they truly, truly love and enjoy and gives them the greatest freedom in their lives. So you gotta be, you gotta be out of your mind. And when she said that, I, everybody in the room was laughing. I thought, oh my gosh, you are so right. You know why? Because the truth is your mind is not your friend and you are not your mind. So when you're operating from your highest self, allowing soul to fully express through you, you don't run with your feelings and your emotions. You just let God be God and do whatever God tells you. And that comes from, that's in scripture. That's, you know, John 2 verse 5, do whatever he tells you. But you've got to read the entire thing, chapter for context, obviously. So you let God do what you know he knows how to do and just run with it so imagine and i asked them this imagine operating at a place for the first time in your life where you just allow god to be god operating from a place where you trust that soul knows the way has the answers and can support you with the wisdom to create the strategies, the structures, the systems, and work with a coach that supports you at a supernatural level. You have that trust. So when you work from this place, from your higher self, doing this work, channeling what God has put through you to create your offer, to create your niche, to create your price and your position into market and to sell, to create the relationship that you want with your clients. When you work from this place, that's having a divine encounter because you are not focused on what everybody in the industry is doing. You could care less what Debbie Downer is doing, what Betty Bus, you know, Busy Betty is saying and what everybody is saying cannot happen. What they said is impossible because at that point, when you're doing what God says to do, you are saying, I am closing my eyes to everything around me and I am operating only based on insight and wisdom from God, exclusively based on what God is channeling through me. So when you get that download, you're not going to look at it and say, you know what, this is what God is telling me to do, but mm, only this fits the amount of money in my bank account. Only this little part here fits what my husband's gonna agree with me on. Only this fits my current lifestyle based on my kids, whether they're in school and all the stuff I have to do with my volunteer committees and all of that. And only this fits what I feel comfortable doing. And then only this part of what God said fits what my coach tells me to do. First, your coach shouldn't be telling you what to do. God is speaking through you. He's telling you what to do. So that's a divine encounter. And when you create a business based on insight from your own personal spiritual relationship with God, everything changes. But here's what makes it supernatural. You know, because you know, when I asked, like, what makes you a powerful 
spiritual being like what makes you supernatural i got answers from them like while well, i read the bible while well, i go to church i listen to my pastor's sermons and i watch sermons on youtube that's all great and lovely that is all beautiful but here's the thing you don't get supernatural spiritual power from going to church from listening to some sermons on youtube here's where you get it from you get it from actually reading the word of god okay from hearing the word of God and reading it for yourself to get that insight and that wisdom. Because you can't, it has to be inside of you to operate at that level. So that when scarcity comes, the word of God comes out and tell you and tells you what you can do and how you can do it. So that when your ex-husband throws a hissy fit, the word of God comes out to remind you of who you are so you're not distracted by his crap. So that when a child gets sick, the word comes up and gives you the power to stand in the fire while it's hot and you don't burn and the child gets well and you move on to your stuff and you don't get distracted by left or right or one or two. You focus on what God is doing to, through you. And when you put the word of God in you and build that spiritual foundation, that's where the supernatural power comes in because at that point, you learn how to hear, how to see, and how to understand beyond what your mind tells you, beyond what your mind says is normal, beyond what's logical and beyond what's reasonable. So when, let's call her Kathy, said to me, what you said is completely logical and unreasonable. I, was, I clapped because I was like, yes, you have no idea what I think. We're reason and logic should go stuff themselves. You have no idea why I think they should go stuff themselves. I'm going to tell you now. They need to go just, that's where they need to go. I can't say it on video or ever. But they need to go there because here's the thing. When you learn how to see, understand, and hear, you get to see beyond what's logical. You get to see beyond what's reasonable. You don't have to explain why. You don't have to know why. You don't have to have a reason. It's supernatural, baby. That's it. From that level, you don't care what anybody else is doing. It's based only on a personal relationship with God. And I say a personal relationship with God because what God wants to do in you and through you it's different from what he wants to do to anybody else. That's why he gave all of us a different DNA. It's unique. So don't think, oh, that, that person goes to church, that person's a Christian, that person is a this, that person is a that. It means nothing. The only thing that matters is your personal relationship with God. For me, it's irrelevant how many times I go to church. I do go on Sundays, but it's every Sunday, but it's irrelevant. What's relevant is my relationship with Jesus when I'm by myself. When I'm here and it's just me, me. What is that relationship? Who am I being? Am I being that same person when I go outside of church, when I'm with my daughter, when I'm with my friends, when, my, when somebody is throwing a hissy fit? What distracts me? Where do I keep my focus? That's what matters. That personal commitment, that personal drive. Because it's outside of what the logical mind can see. And when you truly operate from that level, it's pure supernatural. You don't care what's happening in the economy. You don't care if there's a recession. You don't give a damn because the only thing that matters is what God says through you. And he's not going to lead you astray because soul knows the way. So let me know in your business, just like those eight coaches, how you are trusting soul to lead the way <clears throat> and how you are being supernatural in your business where miracles happen every day. Stuff that people think it takes 10 years to happen, happens supernatural for you. And it's just supernatural, baby. That's just every day. That's just waking up and breathing because you breathe and you receive. Okay? So keep it real in the comments and let me know how this landed for you and how you choose to be supernatural in your business and what you plan to create over the next 18 months and how you plan to create that. It's been really good having you.